Okay, so now we have to put on the rim tape. So I'm just gonna clean the rim with maybe some alcohol and just make sure the rim tape sticks properly. surface for my tip or it is here so this is a 21 mil wide internal rim this tip is 23 mil wide the reason for this is the valley in the middle will take up that slack so the time it goes down into that valley and up it will take up the whole length of the tip Get it as even as possible. Start way over and side of the rim, push it down into the valley. Yeah, and by the time it gets around, it takes up the entire thing indeed. So instead of just pushing around with this, I'm pressing down on the tip firmly at the tip of my finger. I'm pressing into the into the rim down into the valley. It's quite hard to do actually. too much so I'm just gonna cut it about two inches past where I start. You can't really have it too thick either. Um, the problem with having it too thick is there's less room for the tire to get on and sometimes they can be a real pain. I'm just gonna Put that there for now. And now it's pretty well centered, but I just have to force it down into the valley now. Make it nice and flat. Okay, so now, now that I've done completely true, I am going to put in my valve. So, does it go up the outside? Uh, cap. This rubber seal goes on the outside. And this rubber section here should go into the um, into the rim. So we just have to locate where the valve goes. This is here. So make a small hole. Right, just I'm just going to pierce it. Okay. That wasn't too big. So it makes kind of a seal there. So I made a hole in the tip and I pushed through the valve. Now I'm going to put on this other seal. It's like a rubber, rubber washer. And I'm going to chain a nut on the outside. It's important that this is tight because when this tightens up it pulls this into the tip making an airtight seal so i'm just going to make sure that's good and tight and then it's nearly time to put on the tire okay so next part next part is just put on it's just to put on the tire didn't know what that was. You should know how to do this, but in case you don't, you should just go through it. Uh, tubeless uh, can be harder to get in. So when you put around your room first, try to get this bottom bit here sit in the middle, because that's the middle section is smaller diameter, and that will make it easier for you for the bead of the tire to get over the rim. Just sitting in a smaller layer. 
Yeah, I don't know. Is there a direction? Some of these tires have a direction, but this shouldn't because it doesn't have any thread. No, it looks okay. No, it's okay. Just be careful, some tires have a direction which they want to go. This here doesn't, so I'm just going to put it on. Yeah, I'm going to put this logo, the biggest logo. Let's see what it is. If I can get it to unfold. WCB uh, logo up where I have the valve. This will make it much easier to locate when I'm stressed out on the side of a road. Very tired brain. Also, coming up into the rim at the bottom, completely up at the valve. No more rim that way. Okay, as you can see, it's quite difficult even to do more this part. Just have to be even with it. Okay, so actually, these tire levers to get over here is very tight. tube in and then mess it with the other side get that in however I'm gonna go tube this so we've got tube this fluid and there are a few ways of doing this you can get uh, remove you can just put it on without doing this first you can actually put it in the seat uh, put on the tire both sides and uh, to get the valve core and inject the Sealing into it, but I do not have that. Um, let's just arrange for that. So, what I'm going to do is put the no, put the tire on halfway, pour in what I need, and try to get it on with the strain of this. Okay, should be enough. Put this into the tire. This one can be tricky. If you have a, a track pump, you might be lucky to get it seated, you have to pump like mad. But there are pumps out there that you can uh, you can pump and it'll compress the air and then it'll let it out on one go. That's good for sitting um, tubeless tires. Another option is to use the cylinders. 
That's, you need fast air to, to compress it out without leaking. I just try to pump in there with air as normal and slowly it'll just leak out the side slowly. You need fast air to, to get the tire to seat into the tubeless uh, rims. So lucky, I'm lucky in the fact that I actually have my own compressor. So I'm just going to do that. Around, get the seat to all the places where it should go. So I can't, it doesn't just go around the outside, it has to sit around the rim as well and see any holes that may come even around the tape and around, around the valve here. I'm going to get more pressure into this net. And let's just see what pressure is supposed to be on here. PSA max. Let's see what I'm at. I just want to get it seated. I like that now. And that. That's how you build a wheel. The next thing there, I'm gonna do is just to put on. Baby, yeah, I have a little chill here for painting that up. I think it's yeah, the same tool that does the rear cassette for the Newtons. So, so it says here the 40 Newton meters. So, I'm just going to talk that up now. So, I'm just going to put this on the bike. I am going to do my rear wheel in the exact same way. There's no point in me through it again with you. Um, it's the exact same thing. Just make sure you have, just make sure you start with the opposite side, you know, your, your drive side, and you have, if you have different side spokes, different sides of spokes and different sides, make sure you have the right ones. That is all there is to it, guys. Oh.